Hey YouTubers, on this hot August Saturday morning, I wanted to show you guys how to find your uh, key code for your door. This is a 2004 Mercury Mountaineer, and when I got it, I didn't get the little white card in the uh, manual that shows you the code, so I was kind of lost. I did get one key with it, and that was it. I was going to make another key, but you can't do that unless you have the two original keys, so now I've got to go to the dealer and somehow get another key then so I can make duplicate keys or whatever. But anyway, quick history, I just bought this about two weeks ago. I've been driving it 159,000 miles and the woman I got off of, she said she heard a lot of clunking. It turns out the uh, transmission's got some problems and the uh, torque converter's bad. It sounds like the uh, infamous marbles in a can rattling board. It just can't get the torque converters right. I don't know why, but this is the third one I've replaced. But I lost first gear last night, slipping really bad. So I'm going to take, pull the tranny out real quick and put the put new clutch packs in the first gear and check the rest of them. But uh, I have to pull it out anyway to replace the torque converter. So I'll just do it all one time. But you can kind of see there. Kind of got it started. Got the pan off there. I don't know if you can see that. Fluid was okay and all that. So, but anyway, um, inside, look at it. Check it out. Sunroof. Six slot CD player factory heating system you even got a thing there for your gas pedal to adjust if you're a short person <laughs> and he's, I'll say you on the door here pants the, uh, the, the uh, driver's side you got a seat setting the seat will go back if you know if you're long legged when you get out so it's pretty fancy and also one other quick thing it's got the uh, overhead factory CD player how about that sink your CDs in there hide them Although it comes with a remote, I believe. I'll have to research it, but I want to get a remote for it. Anyway, got enough rambling here. I'll show you this real quick. Um, what you got to do to find your key code, you got to go over here, walk around the back, and on the back side here, behind the passenger side, in the back seat, put your seat down. The little, mine has a little thing here you push down on. Now I'm going to have to get up in here. Oh, it's hot in here. Okay. And I've already pulled this panel off because I didn't want to make this video as short as I could. This is the seat belt there. You can see that? You kind of just grab the edge of this and just kind of pull it off here. Just take your time. And when you get that off, there's a second little piece here. You kind of you got to loosen up. Just kind of grab that and pull it out. And once you do that, let me adjust myself here. Sit up right. Pull this back with one hand. And if you look right there, you see there's a little box right there. And you see those numbers there? That's your code for your door. So I do believe the Ford Explorers all the way up through, um, I think, 2002. Gosh, probably all the way, who knows, 9, 10. That's, I believe, where they put all the codes. So you might want to research it. But that's how you do it. And uh, hopefully it'll help you out. Because I've locked my keys in here once already. And my 2002 Ford Explorer, I've locked my keys in it three times. I finally figured out where the code was. So there you go. Hopefully that'll help you out. Looks like I'll start working on this tranny today, get it out of here, and start ordering some clutches and all that. But uh, like I said, 159,000 miles of V8, five-speed automatic transmission, and these transmissions don't really need service until 150,000 miles. But apparently this was ran pretty hard, so I thought it would have lasted just a little bit longer. But anyway, good luck, guys, finding your key code. Hopefully I'll save you some uh, time. And sorry about the rambling here and all that. So... Later, guys.